outside my door. Hurry. It's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punginello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punginello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him nothing. That went terribly. <laughs> I was not prepared for them to run in. That was horrible. Oh no. Great, this crap again. When Janello's trio was done for. <sighs> okay. Now well, let's keep the dual Ingrams out. I'm gonna skip this thing here. Alright. Let's save right here. Let's, I'm gonna skip this. No, I told him not to. Unfortunately, when you're looking down the barrel of a Colt Commando, it ain't exactly fun. I was shooting the crap out of Punchinello's light here. Alright. Let's ch let's go face them all down. Drop Shit! Don't move. Game over, Max Payne. This is gonna be a problem. I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble on dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. Well, that's lovely. She just gave me a big dose of V. Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. The flesh of fallen angels. Now, I don't like this one. This one is the one that sealed the deal and creeped me out. I didn't want to play the game when I was younger anymore. Huh, let's check out this uh, letter here, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Let's let's go check this out. Let's save. Saving is a, a uh, important Who's part of this breakfast. Max? Oh, I better not have to deal with this again. Max! Good. Is that you? Max? Where are you, Max? I'm coming, Michelle! Please. Don't worry! I'll save you! I'll save you! Why is everything no, so far away? No, please, Max, no! I'm sorry! I'm coming, Michelle! Please don't, Max, no! No, not again. It's all coming back to me. No! Max? Where are you, Max? Please! Oh, wow. Everything's on fire now. That's the letter was staring at me. Well, let's read this letter then. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel. Funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. <laughs> uh, now this level also contains uh, a couple of third wall jokes. Let's pick up the phone. The bartender 
her shiny stuff and dreams are made of stooped necromancers. He sings like a banana wrist, having strayed too close to the constellations on their shaved skulls. The there was a bad line in the prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Lovely. Let's go to the door now. Oh, great. Back to school. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. Let's read the letter again. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. Endless repetition of the act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. Yeah, there's the other third wall joke. Well, let's pick up the phone once more. Don't lose it. It's Valkyr. The drug. Snap out of it. Try to remember. It was a bad line in a prank call. Someone spouting insane babble. I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu. And the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Alright, well, I am preparing you for another bloodline. And I'm going to guarantee that this one is going to take much longer than the last. Much longer than the last. Because... I don't remember this one at all. Oh my goodness. That is creepy. <laughs> I don't like this level. It creeps me out. I feel a chilling sensation all the way down in my Jones. It's my bones are shaking. How does that happen? How do your bones shake? All right, let's save here. This one requires a lot of jumping, so there is a lot of uh, possible. Hey, I might miss this. I, but I'm pretty good at this game. I'm not. I don't normally miss jumps. Oh, that's a little. <laughs> I'm pretty good at this game. Krabby, you just died about a hundred times playing. Well, yeah, and your point and stuff, and uh, I don't even care. I think I jumped too early. No, we're all right. I think I jump at the end of this corner, as I do believe. No, I didn't jump. Well, here it comes. Oh, it wasn't the baby, it was Max screaming. Oh. Okay. Did not know that. Yeah, I have terrible I have a terrible sense of uh, timing in this cuz everything's in slow motion. And you want to know something, viewer? If you, if you don't like the way I'm playing this, I'd like to see you play it better. I'd like to see your video response and I'd like to see you play this game better. If you don't own this game, well, you don't understand how difficult it is then. We jumping. All right. I don't know which way to go. Oh no, 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 no. Good boy. I, I don't, I don't think I go this way. I think I go down there. But I'm wondering. I'm, I'm starting to think that if I jump to, yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to go down there. All right. Dang it. All right. Uh, 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 oh god, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna. Oh, I made it. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna save here. Oh. Alright. That's a cool thing about, uh, PC games. You can save anywhere you want. Okay, that's not the right way. No, no, whoa, that was close. Whoa, that was a close one. Krebby almost dropped to his death. Oh, I'm getting scared here, man. It's not so much the whole creepiness of it. I mean, I'm creeped out, but I think I wasn't supposed to go this way. I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. This one is confusing. It's confuzzing. It's confuzzling. It's mind-boggling. What's mind-boggling? It's like when you take your mind and you put it in the body. How would that work? I don't know. Oh, let's try to make this jump. Ooh. Ah, leap of faith. And if you even try to reference Assassin's Creed, then, well, good for you. I have no problem with that. I like Assassin's Creed. I don't understand people who don't. I've, I've met a lot of people that don't like Assassin's Creed. I've, 
I've actually met a couple people that don't like this game, and I get really offended. I'm like, are you kidding me? You don't like Max Payne? I found it. Yay. I found it. Krubby's a genius. Krubby's gonna save here, just in case he falls. Because that happened once to me while I was playing, uh... Uh, I'm playing this on the PS2. I got right to the end and I missed the last jump. And boom shakalaka. I made it. Max! No! Max! Oh no. It's murder her! You killed her! Oh my god! It's myself! I'm confronting my demons. But you look a lot like my pixelized face wearing the suit. Ah! Die me! Max, something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Like I said, that level was creepy. <laughs> Luckily enough, I did a lot faster than I remember. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining. I was all shook up. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue. The only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road. But when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline pumping through my aching veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't kidding anybody. At best, I was Superman on kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. are at cold steel. Max's only weapon, a Beretta 9mm. And a baseball bat and a... I have to ask something. How do you fit a baseball bat inside a leather jacket? Actually, that's that's beyond crazy. I like to make the joke all the time when I'm playing a game that has like certain uh, certain things. Like like when I can carry a lot of weapons. Like uh, I say like in GTA 4, be like, I'm, I have my Max Payne leather jacket on today. You know, like when I'm carrying a lot of weapons in GTA 4. God dang it. Radio, let's listen in. Life-threatening weather condition. A record-breaking killer storm. In the city's history, vehicles stuck in snow. Heavy snowfall. Forecast shows. Severe weather is expected to continue. Out in the night, snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over. Wow, the game like skipped. Ooh, sniper, Colt Commando ammo. Do I actually have a Colt Commando? They gave me ammo for a weapon I don't have. Lovely. That actually makes a lot of sense. Because this is this is actually one of my favorite levels in this entire game. Mostly because basically you can use the Colt Commando this whole time. Really? Really remedy. I mean I know it's rated M and everything, but come on. Yeah, I guess these guys are lonely. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Can you imagine this? I have to fight these guys. I missed that opportunity. I have to fight these guys with a single Beretta while they have 
Colt Commandos, Desert Eagles, Shotguns. Actually, I'll pick them all up, so. Whatever's. Colt Commando. Now, see, this is the most prominent weapon in this level. It's all, it's just everywhere. Colt Commando's everywhere, man. It's everywhere, man. This, I just opened this. That's lovely. I mean, you saw me open it. Ah! Intruder. You cannot! No! 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 Dang it! Oh my goodness, look at me. Mr. Fumbles. That's what my name is. That's my new nickname. Mr. Fumbles, the Fumbly McFumble. I don't know how Mr. Fumbles. I'm fumbling my weapons like the Fumble Fums. Hey, get up there, Max. Thank you.